Hello everybody, this is Risk and Ananya, also known as David. Um, so today, real quick, I've done some stuff to the Evo that I really want to show you guys. I'm really excited about it. Um, this is something I didn't think I was going to do for a while. However, I got a really good deal on the part, so I went ahead and did it. Um, so I'm holding my phone backwards right now because I can't switch the camera. So I'm not sure if I'm really in, in the um, frame, but I hope I am. All right, so I'm going to my cousin's uh, wedding reception today. But first, I just did a little bit of stuff on the Evo, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. All right, so I'm here at my parents' house. Um, let me just show you guys what I've done to it. So stickers, um, I'm thinking about removing my stickers all over the car, um, except for a few. I'm going to leave that one on. Um, but I'll do another video on that soon, explaining why and exactly what I'm doing and show you guys everything. Um, here we go, in the engine bay. Sorry, it's really windy out here, um, so I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Um, hopefully you can still hear everything okay. Because I know the wind is really blowing. And all these cars driving by. Alright, so let me start off showing you guys. So, this is my engine bay. Um, I've got a carbon fiber Kevlar from Password JDM. So you see right there? It's a carbon fiber Kevlar, this one and this one on the, uh, the fuse box and the relay box. It's just an overlay, so I just put tape on the inside, double side tape, and then put it down on. Um, this one actually has Velcro strips on the inside that came with it. This one I had to use double-sided Gorilla tape. And then this is the cooling plate right here. This replaced the factory cooling plate. Um, so as you can see, it's only got, this bolt doesn't really hold it on too well. It doesn't really, it kind of moves. Um, this one right here, Holds it on really well. Damn, there's so many vehicles driving by. Alright, so it's one bolt here, which is kind of on. This bolt here, which is really secure, and this bolt here, which is really secure. Um, I got these replacement bolts that I was going to put around my engine bay. I only put two of them on, um, but they're not long enough for me to put it through here. So I just put it over top, but it would have probably fit better. Um, the snorkel for my air intake, um, I lost the little screws that were on here. So I put on these extras that I had from the wheel well, and they kind of clip on. It's not perfect fitment, um, but it kind of holds it in place pretty well. Um, and then the only fitment issues I've got is right here. You can see it's not quite flush. Right there. So you can kind of see it pop up a little bit right there. Um, but overall, I like the look of it a lot. Um, I've got the engine bay. I've got an engine cover and a, um, a uh, spark plug cover, cover too. But if you have a 2011 and old uh, and newer, you need to redo some wiring to fit it on, and I didn't want to do all that, so I'm just going to save up and get the V2 engine bay cover, which just kind of covers the whole thing. It's one big piece. I like it a lot more. So let me step back real quick and show you guys. So there it is. Engine bay is all pimped out. Um, obviously, if I wanted to really dress up my engine bay, I've got a lot more I could do, like powder coating, um, you know, get uh, replacements for like that, and like the power steering and catch can over there and all this craziness um, I might do that all someday I am gonna get this intake change out for the ETS one I have um, but for now this is all I have so you know let me just get a quick picture of it so I took a picture of the engine bay before I'm trying to replicate that Let's say like right about Let me get one more picture. Right like here. See, it's kind of in the shade, so it's not the best, but oh well. Alright guys, but thank you for watching. That's all I wanted to show you guys real quick. Um I hope hope the wind wasn't too loud. Um but thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Alright.